Hello, Phoenix Union seniors, class of 2020. We miss you, we love you, we wish you were on campuses. Uh, we are so sorry that the end of your K-12 journey did not end up as planned, uh, but we promise you are not forgotten and we have uh, many plans uh, in place to continue to support you uh, for the rest of the school year and beyond. Uh, I wanna start with reminding you that uh, as I've shared in previous videos, that we are going to do all we can to get every single one of you who was on track to graduate, uh, to get you your diplomas and your transcripts uh, by the end of May, as was originally planned. Uh, as I said uh, before, we ask that you meet us in the middle. We're gonna work really hard to provide you with new learning and new opportunities, uh, to stay engaged in your academics, but you also need to meet us in the middle. You need to take it upon yourself to be reaching out to your teachers, reaching out to your counselor, your advisor. Make sure that you are doing everything that you can to keep yourself on track to graduate. Uh, but our commitment to you is if you do that, if you meet us in the middle, that we will help you get your diploma and graduate by the end of May. Uh, today, I wanna share a couple uh, specific items with you and then end today talking about graduation. Uh, first of all, as you have probably heard by now, uh, your grades, I know, matter to you, to many of you. Uh, and so Phoenix Union has made a decision that uh, when you left for spring break on uh, March 6th, uh, those grades that you had at the time are frozen uh, in time. They cannot get any worse. But the work that you do uh, and have done for the last three weeks and are going to do for the next five to six weeks uh, can only help your grade. It can't hurt your grade. Uh, and so maybe you had a C and you want a B. Uh, maybe you had a B and you want to work toward an A. Maybe you had a failing grade and this is your opportunity to work really hard uh, to get yourself back up to a passing grade. Please know that your effort uh, is not just about finishing, but it also could be about improving your grade. Uh, this grading policy we call better but not worse. Uh, so long as you work hard, uh, we can help you improve your grade. Also, many of you have asked about credits. What does that mean for your credits? If you only took the first nine weeks uh, and now we've been at home uh, and we'll be at home for the rest of the year, are you gonna get full credit for second semester? And the answer is yes. Again, so long as you pass your courses, so long as you are engaging with us, uh, that at the end of this year, you will get full credit for the courses uh, that you were enrolled in. Uh, again, so long as uh, you pass those classes and are working with your teachers. We've heard from a lot of seniors who said, you know, I was just going to be short a half credit or a whole credit, uh, maybe even a credit and a half. And you were uh, enrolling in night school. You were enrolling in extra classes uh, through our digital academy. Uh, if you were going to be close to graduate and you already had plans to take courses to hurry up and get that last half credit or credit uh, or maybe even a credit and a half, please reach out to your counselor if you have not already. Uh, we are making plans and arrangements for students uh, who were not on track but were close. And we want to do all we can to help you two get to the graduation line in May. Now, of course, if uh, you were far behind for graduation, if you're a senior and you were multiple credits behind uh, and you already knew that you would have to take summer school or even come back next year as a fifth year senior, we also encourage you to reach out to your counselor. Uh, we don't believe you're going to be able to make up multiple credits over the next six weeks, but we will do everything we can to help enroll you in summer programming or even to come back uh, for next school year. Uh, do not ever give up on your high school diploma. Uh, don't let this closure uh, keep you down. Don't let it keep you away. Uh, if you had extra work that needed to be done, we will be here over the summer. We will be here next year. You can come back to your current school. We have other schools like Linda Abril Educational Academy that uh, help students that just need to come back for a couple more credits. We also have the PXU Digital Academy. It's an online school where we can help you get caught up. Uh, so again, that's for seniors who uh, were far off track. We still wanna help you get to the graduation line even if it's much later. Many of you in the class of 2020 have plans to go to college next year. Do not let this closure impact your decision to go to college. Uh, in fact, we believe that uh, foundations and scholarship organizations and universities are going to come forward with even more scholarship money to go to college. Do not give up on your college dreams. Uh, if you are not sure where you're at in the process, 
If you don't know if you quite finished your registration or your application or your scholarship uh, applications as well, please reach out to your counselor. Reach out to any teacher. We want to connect you with our resources. We will continue to work with you all the way through next August and September when college starts. Don't give up on your college dreams. In fact, if you go to our website, uh, and we'll talk about that website here in a moment, we have all the resources you need to stay connected uh, with our college counseling program. Uh, again, do not give up on your college dreams. Uh, and many of you as well had plans to go straight into a career. Many of you had plans to go straight to the military. Uh, and that is fantastic opportunity uh, and option for many of you. If you have questions about finishing job applications, how to get a job uh, after you leave Phoenix Union, uh, or how do you finish the application process to be uh, selected to go to the military, please reach out to your counselors as well. Phoenix Union uh, has a mission statement that says we will help you and prepare you for college, career, and life, uh, and we will not give up on that mission even during these school closures. And now for the most frequently asked question, what about my diploma? What about my cap and gown? What about graduation ceremony? Uh, I know how important this uh, tradition is for students in high school and students in college. Uh, here I am in uh, one of my gowns as well. I've been uh, very blessed to have a few graduations myself. Every single one of them uh, was very special. And uh, we wanna do all we can not to take uh, this tradition away from you. Uh, you will get a diploma. Again, if you are on track, uh, you meet us in the middle, you will get your diploma at the end of the year. It'll look just like it would have uh, had school not closed. We are in the process of working uh, on your cap and gown distribution. Uh, they should arrive to campuses soon. We'll give you information uh, on how you can pick those up. It might be later uh, this month in April. It might even be in May, but we will uh, find the best time and safest way to get you your cap and gown uh, and then when it comes to the ceremony itself, again, I know how beautiful and special that is. It's uh, the most important and special time of year for me too. Uh, I love attending graduations. In fact, I'm wearing Central High School's uh, medallion. It happened to be the last one that I attended last school year. We will do all we can to get you some form of a graduation. We have three potential options that we are working on uh, right now. One, uh, if in fact over the summer or next fall, we can bring really large groups of people together again. We are planning on a citywide, all Phoenix Union, every school massive graduation ceremony uh, that we would have in June, July, August, even September if we have to. Uh, that planning is taking place. We also know that many institutions, colleges, and high schools across the country are planning virtual graduation ceremonies. Uh, we're working on what that plan could look like as well. Uh, many of you have said, hey, I'll take virtual if I can get nothing. Uh, and so we're planning that, but we, we certainly wanna do more uh, if we can. Uh, and then we're also working on a third set of plans, which would be uh, graduations over the summer at your campuses. Maybe it's a drive-in or drive-through graduation ceremony. Uh, maybe we can have larger gatherings of, uh, of a few hundred people, maybe not a few thousand people. And if so, those could take places uh, in football stadiums, on campuses, or in community parks around the valley. And so we're also working on a live graduation ceremony, but in smaller numbers uh, all throughout the valley in the summer. Uh, and I share those three examples really just to let you know that we will not give up on you. We are committed to giving you uh, the best graduation possible. Uh, regardless of the circumstances and despite the circumstances. Uh, again, we all were in your shoes many years ago and know how important that is. For more information uh, for the class of 2020, whether that has to do with credits, grades, transcripts, graduations, diplomas, uh, how to make up credits, how to come back uh, for your fifth year, how to continue with the college application process, uh, we are launching a new uh, webpage on our website that is phoenixunion.org slash class of 2020. And we're building a uh, webpage just for you that will answer all of these questions, provide you all of the resources necessary. Uh, again, I just wanna end by saying, uh, we're sorry this is happening. Uh, we miss you and love you so much. And we are committed uh, to getting you across the stage, whether it's a virtual stage or a real stage. Meet us in the middle, work hard, and go to that website for more updates, not just this week, but every week moving forward. 
Uh, if there's anything we can do, please reach out uh, to your principal, assistant principal, counselors, or any teachers or support staff on your campuses. We're here to help you in any way.